A big housing announcement is being made for Hamilton just as our show ends this morning. Hamilton Mayor Fred Eisenberger joins us with that and more on how the city is dealing with the pandemic. Now, I know we can't talk a lot about this announcement. We do know a number of federal ministers are involved, though. We do, and uh, it is embargoed information, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, just about a half an hour from now, we'll be able to share with the broader community, I think, a positive, uh, positive investment in the city of Hamilton. Okay, that's some good news there. Um, I want to get to the vaccine clinic um, that's being set up. Uh, it's going to start, I guess, on Friday, and this is for racialized people within the city of Hamilton. Correct, racialized uh, and 18 plus. So in the hotspot locations, L9C, L8W, L8L, L8N, and L9K are the kind of leading postal code numbers. Uh, anyone in that area, 18 plus, black and racialized, can now book a first Ontario Centre appointment and uh, then go to the hotline, which is 905-974-9848, option 7. Uh, and uh, we'll be happy to see them for their vaccination. Okay, and those vaccinations are coming up this weekend. It's going to be a busy weekend downtown then as well. Um, we're hearing um, from HSR drivers that they also want a priority. Um, and, and they kind of want the shift back to how it was at the beginning of the pandemic, where, uh, you know, only essential, I know only essential rides are allowed on now, but just that space, that space allowed between drivers and the public. Well, I would say that, uh, you know, there's lots of priority areas. Uh, we have about 300,000 folks that are in the second phase of vaccination, and we don't nearly have that much vaccine available to, uh, to be able to do that for everybody. So, unfortunately, there has to be some prioritization. We're going to try and <clears throat> get to everyone. Uh, some of the leftovers uh, that have not yet been vaccinated that are 65 plus uh, are still coming in. So, you know, the, the confluence of all of those folks wanting to get vaccinated, but still limited supply makes it very difficult and challenging. And certainly we want to be able to vaccinate everybody. In terms mm -hmm. of the HSR, I mean, it's challenging. We want to make sure that a, a functional transit system continues to operate, especially for those that need it to go to work in the healthcare system. Uh, we keep advocating for people to use it only for essential travel or for medical appointments, but uh, not for joyriding or going for a a little, uh, you know, just a, a day out trip. Uh, and so we're doing as much as we can to ensure that the drivers are safe. We're you know, well protected behind the plexiglass that's now been installed in all of our vehicles. So uh, we'll continue to look for opportunities to uh, vaccinate everyone and at the same time keep everyone safe. Mm -hmm. Speaking of essential travel, and, and now we're going travel by foot here, Hamilton has a unique issue with the uh, escarpment stairs. And I, I see the signs posted that it's for essential travel only, but getting lots and lots of people I saw on the weekend, um, lots of people using it for exercise use. Yeah, and it's uh, people will have to make their own judgments on, you know, what what's safe and reasonable to do. I mean, you can't really physically separate in that location, uh, so there's no way that you can stay two meters apart uh, and that uh, then puts you at uh, higher risk and I you know my my experience has been that when people are using it that uh, they, they're not necessarily wearing masks either and so I would you know highly recommend that it's only for essential travel don't use it for recreation stay at home as much as possible and you know the stay at home order is in place to encourage people to stay at home not to be wandering around our city because every time uh, people uh, get into a context where they can, and, you know, associate with others or get too close to others, there's a possibility to spread of this virus. And we know what's already happening in the virus uh, domain in, in our community. The cases are high. Uh, they remain high. Our hospital uh, hospitalizations, uh, you know, remain high. Our RCUs are challenged. All of that is a concern. And that really means that if we uh, all stay at home as much as humanly possible, only other for essential grocery shopping or medical appointments, uh, stay at home, uh, walk the sidewalks, uh, you know, get your exercise in other ways, then uh, you know, we'll, be, we'll be a lot better off and we'll get those case counts down and we'll be able to get back to normal sooner rather than later. Okay, let's hope. Okay, thanks very much, uh, Mayor Fred, Mayor Fred Eisenberger, Mayor of Hamilton. And we're going to have more on that big uh, announcement coming down from the federal government. We'll have that for you at chch.com and later tonight on the evening news.